Hey everyone, Nathan here. We're gonna have a playthrough of Minecraft Education's Edition's new Hour of Code for 2022. All right, let's check this out. This is the Escape Mansion. We just saw this cool little animated intro, but this is the premise of the game. We need to basically make our way through some coding activities and collect these diary entries, which give us clues along the way. So this is the first entry one. We need to kind of just get our basic movements going. We move this cursor around. It's gonna initially say we've got it wrong. The agents there is gonna be there to help us. So in this one, we need to come back, just add in that trap door, wait for that code to run we're through and it takes us through one more where we've just got to get our agent out once it's out we're going to take the green path today there are multiple different paths you can take and they all have their own level of difficulty so this one we reveal this first one we're going to get this ball over to the gold plate so what we're going to do is just change this up so that we're moving to the right but first of all we can see we're going to debug it first it went to the left let's shift it back to the right and the ball gets to the right place. What we're looking for each time though is these little particles. So see on the side here, I first thought that this was just like um, a window, but it's actually like a mirror to another dimension. And what we're doing is I'm noticing how the particles are different and that is what gives it away as to what we need to do next. So here, we just run this code, so we'll debug it. It kind of runs and then it's gonna tell us it's wrong. So in this one, this other dimension, we need them to match up. So if we come in here, what we're gonna do is, I know I've got to place one first and there's one missing at the end, but we could use our coding skills actually here because look, these all are kind of repeat except for the last one. So I'm gonna grab a repeat here and I just need to drop one in. This is just a more efficient way of coding. Let's get rid of this stuff, we don't need it. Let's run that and perfect. It always comes up with puzzle solved. So I'm gonna check this out and it looks like we've flipped over. We have, cool. So here's this green door. I'm gonna get through that. Let's pull this lever. No, that is not working. So let's check our code. Let's run it. So it's saying it's wrong. And I reckon there's a comb this is like a combination lock. So blue, pink, yellow, orange. So it needs to go blue, pink, yellow, orange. Let's try that instead. So we've got a little speedy night here, off he goes. Yeah, perfect. So you can see it's green, because remember we said we're going on the green path. Let's check out this one, Mr. Zombie. Press bread, okay, bread. Let's press C, we're gonna go, let's just run it, let's see what happens. So you kind of get this base code, and it's like you gotta fix it up, and that's not working. I reckon there's an order, I reckon this is it here. So we need to harvest, mill, dough, and bake the bread, okay. Go zombie, go. Uh, and bake, perfect. So every time you kind of solve solve one, another one opens up. We've got, okay, if you're not sure what to do, just hit C, we've got some instructions here. Here I've got to work out what to feed the house. So that was three apples, there was four salmon, and there was two mushroom stew. Let's try that. Oh, there we go, it's going to its mouth. It's gonna eat it. It's, oh, it's dropped some salmon, hopefully that's gonna work. Yep, perfect, puzzle solved. Here we go. It's pretty easy to kind of find these particles. Don't forget these little diary pages. It's worth reading them, they kind of give you clues as to what you gotta do. This one, though, looks like there's a bit of a clue on the wall there. So I reckon these all of these mobs need the right food. Okay, so it swaps their meals over. Let's just run it. So that swaps, and that's gonna be wrong. So let's just look at this again, see who wants what. So, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm moving really quickly here, aren't I? So we need to swap them around so each one has the correct one. They're almost color-coded in one way. So that swap was good, and then we need to give that one back over. Okay, so it's just by color. So we swap the blue ones and then we swap the pink and then we swap the yeah. Perfect, there we go. 
So like a little bit of a sliding one. And that is opening up through to our next escape room. So this is, is like a little escape room option here. Let's press this button. Let's see what it's gonna do. We've got, oh, oh okay. I forgot what these are called. These are like puzzle things. So yeah, we need to unscramble it. Let's see what that does first. Okay. It's a chess piece, so it needs to look like that chess piece. So yellow, blue, then green. So let's push this yellow first, then the blue, then the green. So yellow goes, blue goes up, green goes over. Perfect. Uh, let's go up, let's click on that. Puzzle solved. And it's just flying away. And oh, there's a birthday cake there now. The king's birthday. Okay. We might need that later. Let's see. This one, let's click it. New puzzle. That looks like we've got a bit of staircase. Let's have a look. Let's just run it. This one looks a little bit more complicated. Okay, so we've got to put these gold blocks where we see the blue ones. Let's let's look at our cursor. It's three, up by two, and then up by two again. So place block, that has to happen three times. So we can kind of repeat that. We did a repeater before, so you know, one, two, three, but then after that, I'm gonna wanna go up. Yep, and then by two. So up was orange. Uh, was it orange? Yeah, it was. Um, let's go one. Let's then we're gonna place a block and we're gonna go to the right by another one. Let me just go back out. You can just X there on the screen. That just took me in and out. Don't need to necessarily run it every time, but you can. It's just called debugging. I'm gonna check. So that one's gonna place and then I'm gonna go up and we're gonna go over by again. So remember up was orange and then yellow was to the right. So that will take us up and to the right. And then I wanted to place a block. And then it almost kind of repeats here if I look at my code. Although let's go, we go over by one, then we place a block. So you don't need to do that last movement. We can those are the same so we can just repeat that by two and then this looks pretty good although wait a minute um, so if we repeat we move so that's being repeated so we don't need to move three times and we only just there we go those two are around the wrong way one two three and then up by two and then repeat yes all right let's do it up we go, up we go, and it's the queen. Okay, so the king and the queen, puzzle solved. Oh, another cake. The queen's birthday is May the 4th. All right, let's follow these particles. And this looks new. Let's just run this. Let's see what goes on. So, okay, it moves the pieces and the dates change. So those birthday cakes and those dates are important. So king's birthday is April 1st. So I reckon we're going to move the king to April 1st. So there's April, so it's got to move along there. It's like four, and then the first is one over. So that's fine, but it's got to be four, and that can stay the same. So the queen is next. The queen is May the 4th. It's like Star Wars. So May is going to go that way. So, and then fourth is one down. So let's go to the right by four, and then one down. This one wasn't too tricky, actually. You just got to know about those birthday cakes. So let's play. King's moving. Green tick. Queen is moving over to May and then down to the fourth. Room's cleared. Trophy unlocked. And okay, we've gone into a little bit of animation. Maybe we're finished. Cool. Oh, no. Oh, wait a minute. They're from... These are from last year. The... And there's, that's Tara from last year as well. Okay. All right. So spoiler alert. If you haven't done last year, these characters from last year, but I thought they were gone. All right. Those are the trying to escape. We need to help with the Chronos cannon. All right. We're going to, yeah, we're definitely, we've got, it looks like we've got one more coding activity. All right. So we've got to shoot this down, but in the right activated, prepared to fire. So these are going to go in the right order. So blue then it's green and then yep yeah, cool so let's let's go blue first so we shoot the blue cannon first because that's the first ring then the green then the yellow then the purple so we kind of 
work our way in. We've done some decent work here this year on animating. These are cool. Let's shoot it. We've got one more. And they're kind of, the time agents are kind of disappearing. That's cool. I like that we brought the time agents back. It's kind of like we thought it was all over, but it's not. And then they're being trapped. Wonderful. All right. Cool. They've been trapped for good. There we go. All right. So we've got this cool little animation screen here at the end. I'm not going to kind of give away these characters too much. You'll have to play the game to find out what's happening here. But that is the green path from this year's. Wait for it. Wait for it on the mirror. <gasps> So, <laughs> the time agent is still out for some reason, so it looks like they may make a return. Alright, that is this year's Arrow Code. That is the Green Path. Um, I hope you're going to enjoy it. There's a ton of resources that are available through Minecraft Education Edition to support teachers in using this and to support students. Have fun with it this year. I certainly had fun playing with it, and we will see you again soon.